what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, uh, uh, do the dance, day five, do the dance, <laughs> hey guys, what's up, so it is day five of my seven days of Halloween, how are you guys doing, I hope you guys are good, anyways, let's jump right into the tutorial, first off, as usual, I'm gonna glue down my eyebrows, so, um, I created a, a somewhat bald spot on my face. Anyways, so once I'm done gluing down my brows, I'm going to go into my Snazara white face paint and I'm just going to basically paint my entire face white till I look like a ghost. <laughs> Once I'm done painting my face white and I look like a freaking ghost, <laughs> I'm just going to take my Nubon Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm going in with the black shade from that Nubon Beauty palette and I'm just going to basically paint one of my eyes a raccoonish. So I'm going to paint one of my eyes black. Just I'm not being precise with the application of the black eyeshadow. I'm just randomly applying the eyeshadow anyhow then i'm going to also do same for my lower lash line i'm just going to really buff that black eyeshadow on my lower lash line once i'm done buffing that on my lower lash line i'm carrying it down like to form like a tear streak or a tear drop down my eyes I'm gonna change my brush and also deepen and darken that tear streak so once I'm done um, applying that black, I'm just going into this eyeshadow from my Barry M Fall in Love eyeshadow and um, it's kind of like a maroonish color. I'm just taking another brush and I'm, and I'm applying it just above that black and smudging that shadow underneath my lash line. <laughs> So now once I'm done smoking out that um, maroon color, I'm going into my brown eyeshadow pencil. I'm going into my eye pencil, my brown eye pencil, and I'm just going to trace and outline a diamond shape on my other eye. So once I'm done outlining this diamond shape, I'm going into my um, face paint and I'm going to take the red sheets from my face paint and just paint that entire diamond red. So once I'm done painting that entire diamond half, because my face paint is not like um, the drying type, the one that dries by itself, I'm just going to go in some translucent powder and set that um, red part. So once I'm done setting in some translucent powder, I'm going back into that barium eyeshadow and I'm going to just take that maroon red and I'm shading the edges of the diamond shape because we're trying to depict or give the illusion of um, like skin that is like pulled pulled apart on both ends so basically you know if it's if it's skin that is pulled apart and inside is showing the sides have to look like dark so I, that's why i'm applying the shading on the sides and i'm also going to shade in the center part of the eye look to kind of mimic like the tension or the pulling how it's it's being pulled apart once i'm done applying that dark shadow i'm going into some my white face paint and i'm just going to like highlight in between those dark shadows just to 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 enhance it and give it some more depth and definition so now once i'm done with that the highlighting and the shading i'm going to take my white face paint and draw the pin so basically it's just going to be like a really big square with some white face paint then i'm going to also add some shading into it with um this brown and black eyeshadow from my barry m fall in love eyeshadow <laughs> So now I'm just deepening some of the shadows I've applied. I applied some shadows at the top and the bottom to um, to um, mimic, you know, when the skin is being pulled apart. So I applied some shadows there just to mimic that pulling. Then um, also um, I, I applied some shadows um, around the nail area or the the staple area just to kind of bring it out and also 
to um, show where the skin is like where the staple is digging into the skin okay guys so once i am done creating shadows and highlights where i want to create shadows and highlights i'm going to draw out the mouth so for this my clown look i didn't want the usual red mouth or you know teeth i got inspired by a painting or a or a picture that i saw on instagram and i wanted to recreate that mouth for this clown look i'm going to post up the picture up here so anyways that's the mouth look i am recreating it's kind of like you know when the mouth to give the illusion of when the mouth is joined together or the lips are joined together so anyways i had to draw the outline off camera because it was so technical drawing the outline but anyways after drawing that i'm just going to start shading out inside the the outline of the mouth with some black eyeshadow as well as after shading i'm also going to put in some highlights you know just to make it really look believable So once I'm done um, highlighting and shading the mouth area and making it look like how I want it to look, I'm just going into the color. I'm going to do the regular color of the of the clown, you know, the black and um, the white and red regular color. So I'm going to be doing that, painting that on my um, neck and towards my chest area. The last thing I'm going to do is just to apply the usual clown nose. What's a clown without a nose? Like, it's so... <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to put my red Rudolph nose and well, my red clown nose. And this entire look is complete. I popped up my contact lenses. These contact lenses, I got them um, from the SFX store here in Nigeria. So if you're looking for special effects products to buy, they sell special effects products here in Nigeria. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, day five. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video also. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for day six. We're almost at the end, guys. Whoop, whoop. Bye.